Hey Yummy Tummy family, welcome back to my channel. Go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. Here we have some thyme, some tomatoes, some salt fish, Aki, and it doesn't matter the brand, guys. Some ketchup. Yellow onion. Oops, almost forgot my ginger. <laughs> Can't forget the ginger. This is one of the things that just take the dish to a whole nother level, guys. Okay, well now we are going to wash our saltfish. And usually with saltfish, guys, um, you just wanna rinse off all the salt on the saltfish, okay? And we usually boil the saltfish for about 10 to 15 minutes three times. Now, on the second time, when you, after the second time you boil the saltfish, you can go ahead and take a piece of the saltfish and taste it to see if it's salty enough for your likings. If you feel as though it is still too salty, you can go ahead and um, boil it for the third time. Okay, guys? And remember guys, you boil it for at least 10 to 15 minutes. Do you see all that salt in my hand? That's a lot of salt guys. We don't want any hypertension here. And here's the second package. Now, if it's just for you and your significant other, you can just use one package of saltfish as well as one can of ackee. There is no need to make two cans and two packages. Depending on how many you're serving, if you are serving a family of four to five, you can use two packages of saltfish as well as two cans of ackee. Alrighty, so now I am going to grab a strainer and strain out my saltfish and get off any excess water. Now we're gonna go ahead and put some fresh water in the pot. Look at the pot floating, guys. <laughs> oh gosh. 
hear the sound of the waves. Woo! Okay, so now, like I said, we're gonna fill the pot up with some water. And then we're gonna put the salt fish on for its first boil. So we're gonna go ahead and put the salt fish in the pot. And we're gonna turn our burner on to medium high heat. And now we're gonna start and start up cutting our veggies. Cut, 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 cut. <laughs> I'm being silly, guys. Don't mind me. And guys, if you have any dishes that you want to know how to make, that you might have seen me make that you're curious to know the recipe for or maybe just have a general idea of how to make it please leave down in the comments below on what you want what you think what you need guys i can't deliver if you guys don't tell me you guys are the audience i'm here to please you so if you don't tell me what you guys want or what you're interested in i won't know so please tell me and let me know guys in the comment section down below Guys, these tomatoes were so juicy. OMG.
I'm going to take my ginger and press down extremely hard on it to get those juices flowing. And OMG guys, after I pressed down on it, the ginger was just so strong, I could smell it like... This is the residue you want to see on your salt fish. It's almost just about ready guys. Now we are going to start sauteing our veggies. And we're going to take about a tablespoon of ketchup and put it in the hot sizzling oil and what this is going to do is give the oil a nice color as well as flavor it's going to give it like a nice sweet back taste um if you're not fond of your salt fish being like semi sweet it's not like extremely sweet to the point where it's like oh my god like ugh. but it's just enough you don't have to put it in, it's optional. But this is something that I've seen my grandfather do growing up, I've seen him make his salt fish like that. So as you can see, <laughs> the salt fish was boiling, okay guys? Um, it was boiling extremely extreme, like okay? Once you see it like that, you can go ahead and empty out the water. But you see that pretty color I was talking about guys? That's the color you want to see, that nice, pretty color. Now we're going to go ahead and throw in our veggies now. And we're going to keep on turning and turning and leave this for a low simmer. 
you don't want to have this up too high guys maybe like a medium low heat Okay guys, I'm going to add about 2 teaspoons more of ketchup. And remember to taste as you go along because like I said, everybody has a preference. This is my way. Okay guys, everybody makes acne and sawfish different. But this is my preference. This is my, my taste buds. This is my palate. This is how I like it. So um, remember to taste as you go along to say, see whether or not you like it, okay? And I will leave the ingredients down below in the description box. Now I can't promise you guys exact ingredients because I really legitimately taste as I go along um, I feel like this video is pretty self-explanatory for you for itself so if you guys really 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 want to like get exact you know you might want to just continue to watch the video and get a general idea of how to do it I will try to leave ingredients down in the description box guys to the best of my ability now I'm going to be adding some garlic powder. As well as some ground black pepper. I really truthfully wish you guys could smell the kitchen right now. It smells amazing. All those flavors. I love colors in my food. So pretty. I know some people like to actually add bell peppers to um, acne and sawfish, but I don't really like adding bell peppers. But if you like bell peppers, then you can go ahead and add some too. It all depends on your palate, guys. And you see how it's getting nice and soft now? At this point, my onions caramelized. My tomatoes turned to mush, which is what you want. You want the tomatoes to be like soft. You should be able to take your spoon and like mash it basically. Okay. And now we are going to add some fresh thyme.
this is about my third time boiling the sawfish so we can go ahead and take this off the stove now it's about done here is the ackee look at that pretty bright yellow guys a lot of people mistake these for eggs omg but nothing is better than the fresh ackee in jamaica but this is what we can get here in america so we have to satisfy right look at that So now we're going to go ahead and start to break up our salt fish. You can go ahead and do this with a fork, but I'm doing it with the hand. Yes, I washed my hand, guys. Come on, guys. Let's be real here. Let's be real. All right. <laughs> Okay guys, now I am finished breaking up my salt fish, so now we are going to mix it in with the saute that we made earlier, and you are going to see everything mend well together. Now, at this time and point, this is a time period where you can go ahead and add a little bit more oil if needed, and a little bit more ketchup if needed. This is a time period where you want to go ahead and taste your salt fish and make sure you like it, make sure everything meshes with the flavors make sure you're feeling it all right guys um only i can tell you what to do it's up to you whether or not you like it so just make sure you taste it So now I am going to add some more black pepper. Ooh, look at that salt fish, baby. Listen now. Now we're going to put the ackee in there, mix it up a little bit, you know, mix up that pot, 
But you don't want to overmix it because you don't want your acne to break up and look all nasty now. All right? But unfortunately, sometimes you get a good batch of acne and then other times you'll get the acne that's like, oh, damn, what happened? Like, you know, you can't help that. But guys, here is the finished product. Look at that acne and sawfish. Feels so right. Woo! Give me a review, hubby. Mmm. What? She got in that ginger? Mm-hmm. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. It actually... It actually complements it pretty well. Complements the actual and the Mm-hmm. I'm pleased. I'm glad you like it, Papa. Mm-hmm. 